This is the Fiat 500. There's no denying it's a great little car, but today we're not interested in what's under the bonnet or its five-star NCAP safety rating. What we're interested in is that this little car runs Microsoft Windows. The system is called Blue and Me, and it's based on Microsoft's Windows Mobile platform. You'd usually find this in a smartphone or a PDA with a touchscreen interface, but here you're using the buttons on the steering wheel and this microphone in order to interact with the car. If you're concerned about letting a company not entirely renowned for its system stability inside your vehicle, don't be. Windows is only here to manage your communication and entertainment systems, so while it does that very well, there's very little chance of a blue screen of death becoming a fatal reality. First, let's take a look at the connectivity options available, as well as what you need to get the most out of Blue and Me. I've got with me a Bluetooth mobile phone and my iPod. It's nice to see iPod connectivity available, although you can use any USB device which can store MP3 files. Your MP3 player then connects to this USB socket, enabling Windows to read its internal disk and catalogue your music collection. If your mobile phone is set to automatically pair via Bluetooth with Blue and Me, it'll do so when you start the car. Any visual navigation is done through the LCD screen right there in the centre of the 500 Speedo. This menu provides access to your mobile phone contact list, text messages and the music stored in your MP3 player. Alternatively, you can press the Windows button and say the menu option you want. Please make a selection or say help. It's all a bit Knight Rider. <laughs> At home. Call apartment at home now. Yes. Hey. Hello, how are you? I'm alright, how are you? I'm okay, I'm just out for a drive. Just to let you know I'll be back in a bit. Okay, alright, see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Sadly, while Blue and Me does a great job of recognising the names of your contacts when dialing a number, you can't do the same with your music collection. This becomes a problem if, like me, you filled your iPod with thousands of artists. The media player menu lets you browse by artist, album or genre, but it really is just browsing and means numerous button presses to find the tracks you want. It's far slower to navigate than the iPod's own interface and means that you've got to take your eyes off the road for an uncomfortably long length of time. The solution is to use the Play Anything option, but this brings up another flaw. Tracks on the display are only represented by their title, not the album or the artist, and this means that it's very difficult to know what song's which. So unless you know every single song in your music collection, you'll often find yourself wondering, what the hell was that slushy ballad that just came on? Who was it by? And what was it doing on my iPod? Blue and Me is very impressive technology, and it does a great job of uniting your car with your mobile phone and your MP3 player. What it does, it does very well. Voice recognition, for example, is superb. But we can't help feel that Microsoft's missed a trick in some respects. The lack of voice recognition and the tiny text display when playing media files means that it's really hard to navigate your media collection. Hopefully, as this is a Windows mobile-based system and it's therefore expandable, we might see these features added in a further update. And what would be really nice is if Microsoft allowed users to write their own software for the Fiat 500. Then, things would get really interesting. I am the voice of Knight Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T -T for easy reference, a kit if you prefer.